Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lois Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and today we'll be kicking off from where we stopped in creating a hot inside Blender. In today's tutorial, we'll be focusing mainly on grooming the roof. As um, Last tutorial, we stopped where we detailed the hut itself, but today we'll just focus uh, on the roof. I have gone ahead and baked out the maps needed for the hut to look nice in render time. Also, I created a shader for that and also did that for the wood because this will be the last um, episode for this tutorial. So we'll be grooming it before and also shading it. Um, this is how the hut looks right now. So I just went ahead and did it because I didn't want to waste time. What people mostly asked me was how I created the roof, which I'm going to show you guys in this tutorial. Um, so I'm going to move this to another layer. Um, one thing you can notice right off is that the roof is patterned. So I, I modeled it specifically to create a certain kind of effect when I render it out. So if you want to know how I created this, you can check the part one and you can see how I created the base mesh to get to this stage. The way I groom my geometry is I add the particle system and set the mean type to hair. Okay. So now I just reduce the length to something like point, um, let's say point six. Okay. Um, next, I create a hemp material, which I already did. So the material we're going to be using is roof four. So don't worry, I'm going to show you guys the whole structure of all the shaders, um, which you're going to see in this tutorial, including this. So I don't want to waste time creating from scratch. I'll, I'll just show you guys how and why. Um, so let's assign that to this um, hair. So you just select it here and you're good to go. Um, now I will just set the number to zero. That's because I will go into the particles edit, edit and manually add the hair particles to add that you just select the add node uh, the add brush sorry and i set the key to three because i want i don't want it, the hair to be like dense because we don't need much deformation from it so there's no need for it to have so many vertices for it to look smooth okay um so next, let's draw on the geometry. So I want to turn on X mirror so that I can speed up the whole workflow. Okay, let's start up. So you just click. Let's reduce the count to like five so we don't overflow the whole geometry. So just gradually just paint in the hair. So make sure you like cover enough space so you avoid bald spots because then it will make the render not look so nice so don't worry if it looks like the hairs are too much it's fine that means we will not add more children particles so this is the method i use most of the times even when i'm grooming my characters i like to control everything switch it to this single vertex and just move it down um, but you need to turn off the de deflect emitter. You move it down, okay, and just scale it. So I'm grooming it as like step by step according to the underlying geometry to give me the effect which I'm going for. Cool. So let's hide this and create another set. So the next step is let's add the child particles and also play with the overall look. And to do that, we just scroll down to the child and select simple. So to get a decent look out of this method, first of all, you want to go to the radius and set it to something like 0.1. So the more you reduce it, the more. Next, importantly, you want to turn on the roundness. So this gives it more volume. So it's not just like a flat hair. Add a bit of clumping and I'll reduce the length to point seven and add a bit of threshold so we get different lengths finally i uh, will add like a modifier of just play with something that looks nice let's say curve 
then I'll set the aptitude to 0.05 that let's just align the camera so we can give it a nice render so for the final render I'll set it to 15 because we don't need much for the size of each of hair uh, we need to modify that so to do that uh, you go down to the cycle hair settings uncheck the close tip and next you want to set the tip to like 0.6 and also the root to 0.6 so they are all equal let's assign material to it i just added a texture map increase the scale to like 30 so that the help we randomly select colors from the image so it will give us variation then i increase the brightness of the texture to like 1.3 because it was a bit dark and finally i added a mixed node with a muddy color so that to give it consistency so let's just give it a render so this is how it's looking now. So let's add the rest of the object and then we can tweak it from there. We can just use the viewport shape, um, render to just see everything. Um, so from what I can tell, it needs to be a bit saturated to match the hot color, which is like a bright orange. Um, so to do that, we'll just ha add a hue and increase saturation to 1.15. That should be enough. And let's just give it a render. So I record that. Okay, good enough for this tutorial. So in your time, you want to spend more time, make it match your reference. But I'm quite happy with what I'm seeing now. And let me, let's move from there. The next stage is, as I said earlier, I'm not going to like sh shade everything. I will just show you guys the node tree so let's look at the hot material node tree okay so also i have like a tileable simple texture i can preview that then i color corrected it a bit i reduced the value so it's a bit darker then i color corrected it with the mix node and used a color node to like done it reddish um, then I also mixed it up so that it would not look noisy and I added like a late weight and using the same texture I just increased the value to 1.4 and that was the base color for the bump and the normal map it's based from what we created in part 2 so I just baked it out and applied it and that was that i'm happy with everything now so let's set up for final render okay so the way i render out my scenes is so this is going to render out at um, 720 hd for the samples i'm going to set it to like 250 for the theme i'm going to set it to transparent because right now it's using the word background i want to make it i want to apply just a plain background when it's done and for the filter type i'll set it to gaussian and 1.5 is okay for this um for render passes i need the ao that's the ambulance occlusion and object index because sometimes i need to like tweak some colors later and i just add the mix mist to get like a z-depth if i want to add like fog to enhance uh enhance the whole image so i always include that and of course the noise i set mine to just 0.3 and that that is that so thank you guys for watching this tutorial so i'm going to render it out locally here and just show you guys the final image